Hello folks, I'm Josh Coates. I am the chef co-owner of Soul Brothers in the Marble City Market in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, today we're going to learn uh, how to make twice fried Korean chicken wings. We're gonna start with the marinade and here we have our gochujang that's gonna go into the bowl. And you wanna start with this first because it is thicker and everything else that you put in this will actually help loosen this up from here on out. Here we have our soy sauce. We're gonna add to the bowl here. Okay, and then we're also going to go with our rice wine vinegar here. All right, so here we are gonna start with our Asian pear and add that in here. That's gonna help tenderize the meats as it marinates, along with the onion as well. There are enzymes in both of these that help break down meat. Next, we have our ginger and our garlic. Here's our sesame oil. Um, the last two ingredients are going to be gochugaru, which is a Korean chili powder or flake and salt and pepper. Now that we've gotten to this point, we are going to take this and add this to our chicken wings here. The chicken wings we've left whole like this. Um, I prefer them whole because I feel like you get a better feel of them, but you're actually gonna just mix this in. You really wanna massage it into the meat because there's always going to be crevices and you wanna hit every crevice of every wing because you want that to really kind of go through the whole wing. Nothing's worse than having unseasoned wings. So now we're gonna take these and we're gonna set these in the fridge. You wanna let them marinate for at least an hour. Um, preferably overnight is usually the best way to go, but if you need to, an hour is fine. All right, so now we're actually going to build the sauce and we're actually gonna kind of do this in a way that I prefer, which is actually going to be in a blender. Uh, by putting it in a blender, it's gonna help break everything down and make a very smooth, viscous sauce. Uh, so we're going to start with our soy sauce here and we are going to add our rice wine vinegar, Asian pear, and add that in here. Uh, this is going to be our ginger, uh, our grated white onion, and our grated garlic here our sesame oil here as our liquid ingredients. We're going to give this a quick blend. Just a simple pulse. And then we're going to add in our dry ingredients. We're gonna start with our brown sugar and our gochujang. Then you'll salt and pepper to taste. Definitely at the end of this, you want to taste the sauce and kind of adjust it to your own palate. Uh, everyone has a different spice level and or if you need to add more salt and pepper. So now we're going to set this aside until it's time to use it. So we're going to make our wet and dry mix. It's going to be the same mixture for both. We're just going to split it into two different portions and add eggs to the wet mix uh, for the chicken. Here we have our cornstarch, our salt, our pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, ground ginger, and gochugaru. We're just gonna take that whole thing and make sure that it's nice and well incorporated. All right, so from here, we're going to kind of split this batter into two different portions. We just take about half of this. Always use a separate container. We're gonna start with two eggs to see the consistency of the batter itself. Just kind of mix those up with your hands here. And you almost have to knead this like a dough. And we have some cornstarch on the side in case we need to add more to it if the two eggs is enough, which we're gonna have to add a third. Now mind you, this is also going to be a little bit thicker at this point because the marinade that's on the chicken will actually thin this out a little bit. So now that our wet and dry batters are both ready, we're going to grab our chicken and uh, bread them and fry them. Make sure that that gets all nice and stuck to it. This batter is gonna drip off a little bit. I'm gonna take it in with our dry hand and pack a little on there. And just remember, it is okay to pack a little extra because you want that to stick to the breading as best as it can. Shake off any accents. Take that and drop that in the fryer away from us. All right, and so we're gonna fry this at 350 for our first fry. Uh, this way that it will actually cook the chicken all the way through and the batter. Uh, we'll crank the heat up to about 400 degrees later to actually go through our second fry uh, to get it nice and crispy. All right. So we're taking these and we're setting them on a wire rack so that these will drip dry and kind of cool down just a little bit. Right now it, it looks crispy, but the second fry will actually crisp that up to where when we add the sauce to it, it won't get soggy. 
All right, so now that we've actually gone through our first frying process at 350, where we've cranked up the heat, the oil is now at 400 degrees, and we're gonna go for about the same amount of time, seven to 10 minutes, and the oil at 400. At this point, the chicken has cooled down quite a bit, and we're really just kind of locking in that crispiness of this chicken. All right, we are there. So we've gone through our second uh, fry on this at 400 degrees, and we're actually going to take this and place this in a vessel uh, to add the sauce to it that we made earlier, and we're going to give it a small shake, and uh, it'll be ready to enjoy. for joining me to make the Korean twice fried chicken wings. This is definitely one of my absolute favorite things to cook and eat, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's definitely worth the effort.